dearie me. Well, hello everyone, Texie88 here, and welcome to another review. And now we're taking a look at George Foreman's KO Boxing for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, released um, by Acclaim in 1992. It also came out for the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Game Gear and Sega Master System, uh, and I believe also for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm big, I'm bad, I'm back and I'm hungry. Hungry for the heavyweight championship. I'm going to teach these young pups the ABCs of boxing. These kids may be tough, but they haven't been hit till they've been hit by Big George Foreman. Attract mode, so I'll just get the game going. Seriously, that wink is so cheesy. <laughs> yeah. So you got password system, so it didn't have to have battery backup. So obviously we haven't got one to key in. So I caught him mid wink that time. <laughs> Oh dear. So you can have one or two player, yeah. George Foreman, the former heavyweight champ, is back from retirement. He still possesses the same awesome power and remarkable skills as he did before. Watch out, Big George is back. Lorenzo Bullet Luciano, a veteran journeyman in the boxing world, nicknamed Bullet for his lightning quick jabs and fast footwork, a tough keen boxer who's been around, so presumably this is my opponent. And it is. Well, he is. I'm big, I'm bad, oh, and I'm back. goodness sake. Look at that animation. The graphics in general are pretty embarrassing. I mean, this is Super Nintendo, for God's sake. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen better-looking characters on eight-bit machines. So you can uh, dodge left and right like that, and you can block. And and you, you see in the top left corner, there's a, there's a. You actually get a you get the ability if if you do well, well enough, you. Really, you get a glove appearing in the top left corner, which means you can do a that you can do a, a one-off really powerful punch. The problem is, even if even if that lands, as I just saw, it seems to do very little damage. I mean, look how much damage he's done to me already. I mean, this is only the first opponent. Oh, great! Now I have to mash both the shoulder buttons in order to try and uh, wake myself up from being knocked down. Oh dear, then not exactly a huge number of moves. I mean, I, I know boxing doesn't have kicks the way martial arts does, but I might actually avoid that powerful punch of his that time. See, I've just did that, did it, but, but that, that powerful punch up that George has barely does anything to him. Okay, that's an analysis of that first round. That animation on her is really bad. Even the way she's drawn isn't that impressive. Oh, that. See, look how jerky the animation is. And I notice how the how the pictures in the bottom left and bottom right corner get increasingly battered as uh, as the battle boxes take take wax. Oh damn it! I missed it. That time. and how come he can back off? You can't seem to do that. Oh damn it! I didn't press left in time. Oh, come on, get up! Ah, oh, thank you. I 
mean, sound effects are okay. But that's about the only good thing I can really say about it. Oh, I couldn't press the button. God. You can probably hear me mashing the buttons for all I'm worth and I'm really struggling. Come on, get up. Ah, oh, good. Oh my goodness, I've actually got, got more energy than him at the moment. Ah, oh, good, I was, I was out of the way in time. Oh, there's just not enough moves. Oh, look how close I got to knocking him down. That speech sample and the one that uh, he opened, that he opened with at the start of round one, they're, they're not exactly that that menacing sounding. In fact, they sound incredibly cheesy. Yeah, he knocked him down. Have I knocked him out? We'll see if I know. No. Bloody hell, look how much energy he's replenished. I don't get that much better when I get knocked out, for God's sake. Oh, oh God, look at that crappy animation on him. Look at his chest. It, it looks like he's got a backside on his chest. Oh, God. This is only the first opponent. And he's ridiculously OP'd. Or OP'd, if anyone. Overpowered. Let's try that again. Can't say I'm enjoying this. There's hardly any combat moves. For someone who's supposedly such a great boxer, he, he, his punches seem to do precious little damage even to this opening opponent. And if this guy's hard, hard, hard to beat, I'll try to think how difficult his successes must be. Little oh, blast. See, that hardly did anything to him. He clearly whacked him. Little oh, blast. Again, that hardly did anything to him. Oh, damn it, didn't cool. There is a slight delay on the dodging, uh, the weaving left and right. I could have done without that, because especially when he does that, does that powerful punch that he like, like doing like there. But, oh yeah, better bash the punch buttons of the water. He's not gonna get up, come on, get up. Oh dear, this is this is rubbish. I mean, this is a Super Nintendo for God's sake. It couldn't do better than this. In fact, it did do better than this. I previously reviewed a boxing game for it called Boxing Legends of the Ring, and that that, that absolutely pees all over this. It's got considerably more combat moves. It looks, it looks a lot better, plays a lot better. And it's just more exciting and more interesting. This isn't. Oh. I really... Goodness me, miss, could you walk any slower? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see if you can skip that, because... If I last that long, of course. Ugh. Ugh. No, I pressed left and it didn't do anything that time. Stop backing off. 
Oh, I forgot I pressed left. Come on, get up. I mean, his his poem, his uh, his speech is all right, but the, the speech samples of my my opponent were really cheesy, and they didn't fit his and they don't fit his personality. I don't know why the referee's sort of hunched over, like he's got some kind of problem with his neck. Oh, I pressed the left. Oh god, I can't be bothered to play this anymore. This is crap. Well, one of the main reasons I I was intrigued to try this is it's considered to be possibly the worst, um, uh, the worst Super Nintendo, one of the worst Super Nintendo games ever made, and I can see why. So um, that's the Super Nintendo version of George Foreman's KO Boxing, and what a pile of crud that is. I mean. The first problem is that the graphics are, are embarrassing. I mean, I know, I know it's a relatively early title. I mean, but come on. The, 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 in the, in the graphics in the game are absolutely stupid looking and the animation's very poor at times. I mean, the smoothest movement I saw was on that woman, even, she, even her animation's not that good. Uh, the, uh, the graphics are poorly animated, ba and pretty badly drawn, and uh, generally uninspiring. And Oddly enough, that crowd actually looked better better than the, the boxes, and that's saying something. And that, although that's not really saying much, in the, admittedly. Uh, sound effects. Well, generally they're okay. The, some of the speech samples uh, range from uh, from from a, a okay to a bit cheesy. Um. A lot of the, and a lot of the other the crowd chart, the, the crowd cheering samples okay. I mean, in fact, I think the sounds the best part, best part of this whole experience, and I use the term experience very loosely. Oh God, look at that! Um. Gameplay. Well, there aren't nearly enough per uh, enough combat moves. So, I mean, I know you can't have kicks because it's boxing, but there are only about th there are only about three di three different punches, and, and that's in it what seems that way, and that's including that power punch that you can earn. You need more than three punches to have a, a boxing game that's uh, even remotely um, fun to play. The um, the dodge the dodging is a little bit more labour than I would have liked, and and the another problem problem is that. Uh, your opponent, do, even this opening opponent, does way too much uh, damage to you, uh, even for the simplest of hits. Whereas even George Foreman's power punch barely does any damage to him. I mean, I'm surprised I even managed to knock this uh, this guy down even down that one time because of. Ooh. Look how bad the animation is. But anyway, back to the gameplay. It's far too difficult, and and that's slightly. And it, I mean, it would have been nice if you had had the ability to duck. I mean, I tried all sorts of things. I just couldn't get him to duck. So presumably, there's no way of doing that in this, uh, especially as he can back off, whereas you can't even duck.
See, look how much damage that powerful punch does of his did. Whereas when I did it, it didn't, even, it didn't even do a quarter of that much damage. Even when it clearly hit him in his unprotected face. I mean, this whole attract mode is a total tease. So no, if you want a decent Super Nintendo boxing game, just go for Boxing Legends of the Ring. Once you played that, you'd never want to play this. So I'm going to give George Foreman's KO Boxing for the Super Nintendo 2 out of 10. It's only really the sounds that uh, save it. Everything else about the experience is just painful and far too difficult. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another video soon. Texie88, out.